Welcome everyone to the next episode of the Talks with Experts series. Today we got a special guest here, uh, Valid El Sheikh, who came to Pixel Federation to teach our people how to pitch a game. Valid, welcome. Thank you. I hope you're excited about your tomorrow's workshop. Oh yes, I'm very excited. This is my second time in Pixel Federation. Last year was a great success. We learned a lot and I'm looking forward for this year too, to make a big change for Pixel and you know, for the games industry in general. Yeah, well, uh, we're very glad to hear that. Uh, well, let's not waste any time and let's cut to the chase. So, Vali, tell us, uh, why is pitching so important? Well, I think pitching um, is very important because imagine you worked years on a game and then you get it out there and you can communicate what it is. Yeah. Or imagine having great ideas within your company, but you fail at communicating them, so those ideas are lost. And there's there's so many ways how you, you how you can use pitching. For example, you can use it for product development, for for testing games, for brainstorming, for you know user acquisition. Mm -hmm. So I think pitching is a very fundamental part in any game studio because you actually want to have uh, pe people playing your games, people um, interacting with your games, and it's all about people. Like you have pe people working on games, and it's super creative, super interactive process. That communication is very, very important. So just to summarize, pitching is very important for the business in general, but also for the well-being of the people because when you communicate ideas and they're adopted, it kind of it's a nice feeling, you know. It helps the talented people to be heard properly and instead of just cutting ideas. And also, you know, the ideas that are good, they should be communicated, you know. So there's so many layers uh, in the games company when pitching is really, really important. So Walid, uh, how to pitch a game in a game studio? Well, that's a good question because from what I said in my previous answer, you pitch in many, many situations. Mm -hmm. So let's assume that you're pitching to players. That's the very important part, like the user acquisition part. What I've noticed, uh, for example, from movie trailers or from, an, from, a, from app stores or Android stores, and uh, it takes time for people to real, realize what you're, what you're doing, what kind of game it is. So the first tip is to have a strong opening, clarity, simplicity, so as many people as possible to understand it. And you have eight seconds for that. People have very short attention span, like maximum eight seconds, like two to eight seconds. Those are the most crucial parts yeah. because you want to hook them from the beginning and you want them to understand what you're doing. Everything slow, everything that takes time is not ideal. Uh, point number two is that you have to show the best parts of the game and you have to show the uniqueness of it. Uh, it can be the mechanics, it can be something about the characters, you know, the IP or the design. So it's, it's very important to, to show how different this game is. Uh, and very fast, very, very concrete. Uh, the third one is to also have a call to action. So download the game or have something creative there. You know, people are, are saying the same thing, like download our game, it's available on the, uh, here and there. And I would, I would make it a little bit different. I would say like, hey, our game is, is ready and we're excited for you to, to have it today or something, you know? Yeah. Not just download a game, it's a little bit rough or raw. And there's so many other tips, like we need to remember that we're actually pitching to people. So the most important thing when we're pitching to people is trust. Mm -hmm. We want someone to understand, believe and trust that this game is not a waste of time. Even two minutes for them to download the game it's also like uh, could be a complete waste of time, like they get disappointed. Mm -hmm. So we have to be honest, we have to show them what are the best parts, but also uh, not trick them. So a lot of games nowadays, they are aggressively monetized. Mm -hmm. So you actually, we show them that it's cool, but then it's kind of... It's kind of deceiving? Yeah, it, it's, it feels deceiving. So honesty and building trust and actually make f the fun part, like show the fun fun part of the game. And not all games are for everyone, so targeting is also good. Like knowing who you're pitching to. Like the, I know game, game studios, like at least the ones that I have worked with, they really target to the players. So knowing what kind of message to, to send within the pitch is really important. And that's what I actually do in, in the workshops. We, we try, I try to help 
people to communicate that. And all these tips, they apply for any kind of t uh, general pitching. So uh, quickness, simplicity, targeting uh, the message, and also being honest, like we're pitching to people. Mm -hmm. Those are the fundamentals in a way, very, qu very quickly. Yeah. Pitching a game is a little bit different than, for example, startup pitches, because a game is somehow a concept. It can be a service, but it's also a concept in the eye of the people. It's something that they are experiencing for the first time. It's like uh, when you buy a Coca-Cola, you already know what you're getting. Yeah. So uh, when you're pitching a game, you need to show the vision of the game. Like, where is it taking me? What kind of universe? What kind of feelings will I get? Mm -hmm. And you need to show the how different it is. So, for example, two RPGs, how, how are they similar? How are they different? Mm -hmm and also pitching a game is basically pitching an art the best way to do it is to show it yeah. to kind of show the demo show give people the ipad or the iphone and let them play it so uh, like where you're pitching is also different so usually pitching games is online but also in conferences in in uh, demo shows or in showrooms or anywhere you go you can actually show someone your phone if it's a mobile game yeah uh, of course, videos and demos are the best way to show them. Uh, in other pitching situations, for example, I coach people to get a job or I coach startups to get funding. Mm -hmm. So it's also good to understand what you want to get from the pitch. So if you're pitching a game to acquire a user, it's different also than pitching within the game for in-app purchases. So it's actually a game designer's and level designer's job to understand how to pitch for example, the first 10 euros that people, it's a pitch. Basically, you get to a level and then you want to convince them to buy and it can be pricing, it can be like the benefits from it, it can be the, the strategy from, okay, what, what would I get? Like, what is the main thing do I get if I spend money or if I do something? So it's kind of, it, it involves psychology a lot. And of course, psychology is involved in any pitching, but uh, in games, I think psychology and fun and, and the human element, uh, it's really, really important. It's key, in my opinion. Yeah, sounds pretty interesting. So uh, what are the biggest mistakes in pitching? Wow, that's a good question. So <laughs> <laughs> um, pitching is a, is, a, is a unique way of communication mm -hmm. that has to be, well, there are three elements for any pitch. It has to be informative, it has to be concise, and has to be memorable. Mm -hmm. All these together. So, um, if the pitch doesn't have the information that you want, like the message, it's kind of not not ideal. Mm -hmm. If if it's too long, if you talk about something too long, it's not good. So, for example, some some video trailers they're too long in the beginning. People fall asleep or they just skip. Yeah. Um, and then memorable. We forget that that we have to. There's so much competition out there, and you have to have something that people will remember. It doesn't have to be disgusting or, or too weird, but it can be like something very memorable, like um, you know, some colors or some yeah. some tagline or some very particular uh, part of the game that is interesting. And what we forget also is that pitching. Every pitch is an opportunity. So every time someone watches your video or every time you meet someone and show your game, it's an opportunity. So we forget that, that we need to maximize that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we need to really make an effort to tackle the content well, to tackle, like to have the right message to the right person and to have it in a way, like, like I said, informative, concise and memorable. But also remember that it's, we're talking to people, so we need to persuade them yeah. to download, buy, like, not like. And the last tip that I have from like what people do wrong is that if someone doesn't like something within your game, mm -hmm. you should always ask why. So don't be defensive. Any feedback is a great feedback, even, even the negative feedback, because you can always ask why, why you don't like this or what can we improve? You know, that's what, for example, the feedback, or, uh, for example, in app stores, that, that's super important, like for QA, QA or yeah. for um, community managers and for, uh, I take every piece of information to to ask why, get more information. So it's pitching helps in that. 
and asking the right questions is good. So uh, this just came to my mind a lot. We're talking about the communication and communicating a lot. And what about the people who don't possess such skills as communication or their communication skills are not as good? Do you have any advice for them? Yes. Um, I don't think introverts or shy people are bad at communicating. All right. And I don't think extroverts are better at pitching. I think introverts are better at pitching because they actually follow the rules. Like, like I said previously, informative, concise yeah. and memorable. They try at least. So when I coach introverts, they, for them, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but when they practice, so that's the tip, practice, try, find your own style. You don't have to be, you don't have to do what the rock star presenters are doing. Just find your style, create very short sentences, communicate the message and, you know, express how you feel about it. So our game is this and that, and I like this game. I love working on this part of the game. Just share a little bit about the feeling. Mm -hmm. It becomes easier. So I think the shy people, they try to compare themselves to people like me who like to talk, but they forget like people like me, we talk too much yeah. and we lose the point of the conversation. So the only advice I give them is to just try and practice and find your own style because their ideas are important, like their talent is important and we need to give them the right forum and the right space to do it. So silence people like me or the loud ones, or at least give the shy ones a time and space to do it. Uh, so Valid, uh, my last question is, what else should we know about pitching? All right, this is a good one. This is my favorite topic. So to me, I think pitching is something for life. It's for life. So pitching is for life. Because we, we pitch every day at work, at home. So for example, when you want your friends to go to a particular bar, it's a pitch, you want them to do something. So every pitch has an opening, has the body and argumentation and some ask and then closing, you know? So whenever you're presenting something and asking, that's a pitch. So being aware about this kind of structure of what pitching is about is very important. And you can actually learn that by, be, by knowing that it's actually a pitch. You can learn by yourself, by watching videos, Dragon's Den or Shark Tank, or you can watch uh, some presentations for, for example, Steve Jobs 2007, the iPhone presentation, it's a pitch. You can uh, go to improvisation courses when you're seeing karaoke, you know, anything that you, you want to convey a message and some, something out of it. So when you sing karaoke, you want people to like it or you want people to enjoy it. So it's kind of, it's so philosophical, but pitching is not that difficult. Mm -hmm. It's it's basically you open, you say something, you want people to like it or not like it or do something, and then you close. That's what a pitching is about. A normal presentation is just, you present, you don't ask anything, you know? So uh, I believe that pitching can, can help you realize your dreams, can help you do your job better, can help you, you know, get from point A to B. So I think pitching is very important and it's not difficult to learn and anyone can do it. So uh, thank you Valid for sharing all this knowledge and wisdom with us. Uh, yeah, thank you for inviting me. It's always exciting to be in Bratislava. Oh, thank you very much. We're very gl glad to hear that. And for you guys, uh, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to join the Facebook group called Free to Play Game Developers. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya. Ciao. <laughs> nice.